Welcome back to another Sons of the Forest building guide. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pirate tavern. So we're going to do this on one of the ocean islands in this game. There are three ocean islands in the game on the back side of the island. If you go back here, we're going to do it on this particular one right here at the end of this boardwalk that I made. I'm thinking we'll build a rather large tavern that's going to take up most of this space here. Now, one big issue we're going to run into here is that the ground is very uneven, which is going to make it difficult to build on some of this. And I would like to build something up on this ledge here that connects to the tavern, maybe some kind of dining area, something like that. But either way, if you end up liking the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Sons of the Forest content. And let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing we need to do is figure out a foundation and we need to connect it to our boardwalk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this boardwalk out like this until we see how the elevation is. I may have to elevate the boardwalk and the only way to find out is to just go ahead and build the whole thing out. After building out the boardwalk a little bit more, we got lucky and the boardwalk is the exact right height. If it was not, I'd have to lift it up by a fourth log on the way in. But this will work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab more logs and we're going to build off of this in order to build out our foundation that we're going to do. I built up the foundation and I ran into a pretty serious problem that we got to figure out now. So you notice how asymmetrical this is. We have three squares on the left, but we only have room for two squares on the right. Is I was able to smack one of these on right here. Maybe, just maybe, I can find a way to lift this up one square, and that'll give me some more room. After lifting it up an entire layer, I see some issues we have. So, like, I can't fill in these walls. I can't fill in the walls over there. But I think I can alleviate that by building additional platforms over the sides like this. So now we have our next problem that we need to solve, which is this boardwalk. Should be a pretty easy fix, though. I'll also have to tear it up at this joint right here. And then instead of having it go down here, we'll just have it slowly ramp up to here, which is going to be the new floor to the tavern. So I finished the boardwalk entrance to the tavern. I think it looks pretty good. I'm down for this. And now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and tack down the basement floor before I move, do like the next floor up. With the boardwalk done and the basement floor completed, I can now start thinking about the actual ground level floor that will be the main tavern. I put down all the floor supports. I'm kind of just going to have to work around these areas and just not use them. And that's really about all I can do. The one thing I really want in this tavern is an actual bar that you could theoretically role play, get alcohol out, whatever. And I think the best place to put the stairs would be right next to it. To do this, I'm going to have to start just tearing up everything right here so that I can put down diagonal pieces so like this and then i can put a diagonal there i'll have to tear up this wall to put a diagonal there and then i'll be able to put the stairs down so now i have this and then this and then we run into our first serious problem with the stairs so because of the new angled piece they put in the only thing that i can do is one of these so no matter what when we go down the stairs in this position you're going to be able to see this weird little triangle gap out here i tried tearing everything down i tried doing a stride do everything i could there was no way to avoid it. Which leads me to another option, which is I'm going to have to move the staircase to be right here facing over here. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do it now. And then I realized I can't do it here either because the same issue and then we'll have a little triangle hole looking out at the window. That new piece is actually really screwing us over. But then I found a workaround. We can actually put it in the original place that I wanted to put it. If I just stack two half logs on top of each other, then it'll actually let me get both options of what to do. And then I'll be able to build a wall like I wanted. And after moving all of it back to here, I find out for some reason that solution doesn't work here. So we're just going to have to move it back to where I was a second ago. And after much suffering, I finally got these stairs done. So now I am ready to put the floor on for the main floor. I finished the floor and I set out for the bar. So what we have to do here is that we have to ahead of time put a half log right here and then put another half log on top later or else we'll have to tear down a wall in order to do this later on. And then with that, I think I'm pretty much good to go. We're going to go ahead and add on the walls and try to build this up another level. Now that we have all this set out, I realized our first really big problem in this. So in order to have this bar, we can't have supports here. So what I'm probably going to do here just to be safe is I will attempt to use the tech that I used in my Sky House video and hope that I can clear enough space here without breaking anything. I'm definitely going to have to save on multiple save files because things can break very easily when messing with struts. Additionally, where I want this bar, I'm going to put two half logs on top of each other just in case I can't remove one of them. So I'll just go ahead and make these double half logs for now just in case. I put on the second floor and I'm trying to visualize the bar. So we need to remove four different beams, ideally. 
And this is actually possible using some tech with struts that I've outlined in the previous video. So I actually can do this. So then that leaves me with the other conundrum. What are we going to do about the roof? So what I was thinking about was this thing I just now made, which is to have an angle that goes up twice like that, but then only goes down once in the middle. And that will give me a platform in the middle that we can have like an upstairs balcony type of place to dine on. And then from there, it'll go back up and be symmetrical on the other side. Although one thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to raise all of this up one level. So I went ahead and built up this pirate tavern, a whole nother layer for this. And I built one little demo here so you can see what I'm going for. I put on all these pieces and now I just need to put on the next pieces. Now we've got it all leveled out and I've just got to put on the triangle pieces. And now we have something like this. So the next big challenge here is to figure out how we're going to do a balcony here. But before I can do that, I have to at least put one board on each of these side ones over here, or else I can't tack down the, the half log. So I'm going to put one here and one here, and then one here and one here, and now put half logs on these three spaces on either side. I was going to make it half logs, but I decided instead fourth logs might look better. It looks better on the corners, and then I could potentially put chairs in front of it and maybe still be able to see. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to do the other side. Well, it's looking pretty good. Let's look at it from a little bit further away. I like the style. It's going to be pretty cool, except now we have the big problem that we have to deal with right now. And this is where I have to save the game on a new save file because we're going to start pulling out struts or making struts, pulling out pieces and stuff. And this is where things could go really weird and it could destroy the entire structure and we'd have to rebuild the entire thing. So that's what we're going to be saving often now. So we're always going to pull things out from top down. Now, our biggest concern was the bar. So I definitely want to see them removed right here, 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 and the one right here uh, underneath of these four spots. I'm going to attempt to show you just some of the methods here real fast, and then I'm just going to do the rest off the recording. So right here are the four that we need to remove in order to put down the bar that we want to put at the bottom floor. So I'm going to attempt to put a strut right here, and then I've got to shimmy my way over to the other side and count these things. So we got one, two, and then this is three... This is four, and so the next strut should go right there. Now, I don't know if it'll actually let me pick all these up, so let me pick those up. All right, we're, got, we're good. Let me pick them up. All right, so we cleared out that. And for now, I'm just going to clear out these rows or this like these columns because it could mess up stairs if I remove everything. So I really need to know what I'm going to do with stairs before I just yank out everything. So let's just do the one below this and the one below that. So after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put all these logs back in uh, to make the bar. But sometimes it's weird. You may have to pick them up and put them back down, which is what I had to do to make these connections work again. But what I really need to determine now is where all the staircases are going to be in here. Uh, so what we got to do is start tearing up pieces and see what it will let us remove and what it won't let us remove. Because we need to put down those angled pieces in order to do any of this. And we're going to have to temporarily put in struts in different places, not this spot. I'll put, like, say, a strut in right here, for example. And then that will let me lift up this one. And then I could try to put one down, but I can't put one down because we have this. We'd have to remove all that. So after some finagling, putting in struts, doing a bunch of different stuff, I was able to get this where I can do this. And then I can do that to make the super staircase I talked about. But then something awesome happens. So after doing the other side, I was able to put this cross log. And I realized this cross log opens up these. So now I can actually pop those on. But then after some finagling with it, messing with it, picking things up, pulling things off, redoing this strut, making sure there's cross beams and stuff, I actually was able to get it to fully work. So now I was going to put the planks in, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And now both sides, the stairs are completed. So now I have to think about the next thing up. So I don't actually want the guest bedrooms and all that, the inn's bedrooms, to be on this floor. This is actually going to end up being a wraparound to come over to here and then i'm going to do another staircase like that if i can leading up to the next floor which is where we're actually going to have the guest rooms doing this next set of stairs though is actually really complicated i had to build a cross thing over here just so it would give me the option to build one of these and now that i have one of these i can try to rebuild this because i can't remove the left side because the left side's holding up these while these are gone and thankfully i was able to find the connection and let me do it and now i can go ahead and tear this out and after much much suffering i was finally able to get it all done by pulling things putting things doing all sorts of stuff I got this going and it looks really fantastic. Look at this. We go up here, got a little bit of space right here to put some chairs and things. And then we go up here to the guest bedroom floor. Now I have to do it all over again on the other side. I finished the second set of stairs. It looks fantastic. I need to deal with another serious problem we have, which is how do I get up onto the balcony? So right up here, we get up these stairs. I figure the only way I can make this work 
is to do a sharp staircase right here in the front, which will allow me to still be able to walk over right here to access an area for the guest bedrooms that I want to make. I tore it all down so I could build this, and now that I built this with the stairs across, I can put these back down, and I can attempt to put it all back together above us. So I finished the stairs and put it all back together. It came out like this, which is actually super nice. So now I'm going to tack down this floor, and now we're ready to start thinking about the guest bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and put down flooring along this strip right here, and now we can start thinking about the guest bedrooms. So what we can do here is we could have little two-by-one guest bedrooms, so I can put one right here, and then I can have a crossway right here where you can cross. And then we're going to have a door right here that goes into one that goes to these two squares of the bed in it. And then another one right here. And we'll do the same thing on this side with one that goes like that and one goes like that. That'll be five guest bedrooms that are all symmetrical and nice and neat. So the first room is done. It came out like this. We walk through this door. We have a shelf here to put our stuff. We have a skull and we see what we're doing. We have a chair we can sit in and a bed right here for whoever stays in this room. Now I just got to do the same thing basically for the other four rooms. And now the four rooms are done. Every single one is the same setup. So this place is looking really awesome. Now we've got the guest bedrooms done. But now we have possibly the biggest problem of this entire project. I've got to find a way to remove this floor right here because we want to have a big open ceiling in the main dining hall to make this look nice. And the only way I'm going to do that is trying different things with struts and things. I'm going to try to put struts on this floor and we're going to have to have a support column near the entrance over there somewhere. But I'm going to see if I can pull all this out. I put struts all along here and I did the same thing. Five or six squares, whatever it is over there. So we can pull out four in a row here. And it let me do it. So I'm going to pull out all the other ones. So we got the one strut that doesn't want to go right here. And I'm not really sure if we can fix this now because I already built the supporting structures above. So I put back in one of the supports right there and put a strut, and that let me remove this. But that doesn't guarantee I'll be able to remove anything else. We're going to find out here. Okay, that did just fix that, but can we remove this one now? Let's see. And we can. So sometimes you can do weird things like that to fix these strut issues, and now we've cleared out all of this space. And now it's time to try to see what we can and can't remove from the next floor. And this is why you need to save often on new save files, because when I was messing with this somehow, I don't even know how, but this happened. And for obvious reasons, if we use a grenade here, we'll destroy like our entire base. So I'm not sure that this is fixable. And I realized it happened to the floor above it too. So definitely this is a reload the save moment. I loaded my game and now everything was fine. I did do it in different order. It did mess it up again like that, but it did it in a central area that I was able to just pick it all up. So that was great. So now we have this. I still got to remove a few pieces right here. I'll have to figure out struts and things. But now we have this awesome open space for the tavern. After a lot of time and effort putting in, you know, struts, different things, I was able to get it all worked out. It's beautiful up here now. So the last thing is I need to do the same kind of thing to the basement. And here we go with more strut nonsense. I'm going to have to load my game again in order to fix this. After loading my game, I was able to get it right. We're able to do this. There's about as much free space as I can possibly free up here. I can remove one more thing, which is that. But now this is about as good as it's going to get for the basement. Now that the frame of the building is pretty much done, there's one more thing I want to do, one major problem I want to solve. I really want to expand over onto this with some more space for guest bedrooms or something, dining, I'm not sure. So where I'm going to do this is I'm going to start from right here, and I'm going to start from, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, four, so it'll be even. We'll do one right there, we'll do one right there. I got to bring this one up. With this extended out, I decided I'm going to turn this into one big 3x3 three three room. I'm going to raise it up a level, and then we're going to just build a generic roof on top. And I'm going to leave this spacing right here as a balcony. The side room's getting close to complete, and now I realize the awful problem we have to deal with. I've got to find a way to tear some of this out so that I can put this in. Hopefully this doesn't just destroy everything. Definitely save before doing this kind of thing. Well, it was a lot of work, but it actually wasn't so complicated. So now I just got to put all the pieces back on, and we can continue building. And now the framework for this side room is pretty much done. We got a door here. I'm going to put a door in right here. This is like another giant room, I guess, like the expensive guest bedroom. And after doing that, now it's really just time for me to put in all the pieces. So that's all the complicated stuff. I'm going to skip the whole process. Obviously, I'm just going to be putting logs in for all the walls and just putting it logs anywhere that I need in order to close off the structure and make it look actually normal. I put on all the walls to the tower, I put on the roofs and things, but then I realized there's one more big thing that we're missing that we need to add. So we're going to do that right now. So I really wanted to have a private dock for the pirate tavern. So I'm going to connect that right here. And I'm actually going to take it two layers out because now I won't be able to build it right alongside the tavern because 
I would have to destroy the entire tavern basically to put down angle pieces at this point. So we're gonna have to get it one square away from the tavern and then we're gonna build basically a pier slash boardwalk down to the water down there. I finished the pier and it came out like this. So it actually was really nice. If you've never seen how to do water building, check the description of the video for all my water building videos. I didn't want to waste too much time on it though. It's pretty basic stuff once you know how. So with that completed, now it is time for me to furnish this tavern and then we're gonna do the grand reveal. So I'm halfway done furnishing this house and I just wanted to show you the lighting at nighttime because it's very, very cool. So just let me run through real fast. Just take a look how cool it looks with nighttime lighting. Look down the hallways. This place is super cool at night. I'm excited to finish it. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the furnishing and then we're doing the grand reveal. I finished the furnishing and it's time for the grand reveal of the Pirate Tavern. So this is it from the outside. Let me get some different perspectives on it. We can see from over here as well, from this angle. We can also look at it from over at this angle, see how that side looks with the roof, how the roof transition looks. Looks pretty good to me. All right, so let's go ahead and go inside. So inside of the Pirate Tavern, we have the main dining area right here where there's plenty of room for guests, lots of alcohol. There's the bar over here where the actual bartenders could stand back here in a role play world that doesn't exist. A uh, nice little seat over here. Nice views of the ocean. Look, there's some people out on the pier right now as we speak. Okay, and we go over to here, over in this corner. There's the downstairs to the basement where there's more dining space. There's some shelves for you to store some stuff if you want to. If you don't care about it getting stolen or anything. We're going to head back upstairs. And over here is the, like, I don't know what to call it. But this would be, like, where the rich guy would go. The captain of the crew or something would pay to have this suite with a double bed. Uh, extra storage space, a shelf, some free vodka on the house, and a private balcony where you can view the beautiful view of the ocean. Additionally, there's some public space right past this, and a public balcony right here where you can look out at the other island and the rest of this soon-to-be pirate pirate den that I'm working on for another video. We're going to head up to the, the stairs to the first and a half floor, basically. There's this. There's a little sitting area right here, some nice views of the ocean again. We go up here to the guest bedrooms. There's five rooms. There's one right here. Each one has a bed, a chair, a little bit of storage space, a small uh, lantern to keep you, you know, keep things visible so you can see everything in there. Head down here. We got small little storage rooms back in here, a little shelf, uh, mainly a maintenance closet, basically. There's the same identical one over here. Additionally, there's windows right here at the end of these hallways so you can look out at the ocean. Then we're going to wrap around here and head upstairs to the other dining area where there's just, I don't know, you just hang out up here, get a nice view, uh, enjoy this cold weather that we're experiencing right now, and get some, again, a nice view of the ocean, or if you want, just run up onto the roof and look around. Uh, so overall, I'm very, very happy with how the Pirate Tavern came out. This place is absolutely amazing. Honestly, I'm extremely excited about how this turned out. I thought maybe it'd be good, but as I finished, I realized this place is absolutely amazing. This is one of my favorite builds ever as far as just aesthetic and how it came out symmetrically and all that. Hopefully this video entertained you, though. If it did and you want to support me and see me make more of these types of videos, all you got to do is hit the like button, subscribe for more Sons of the Forest content, and then just leave a nice comment to boost me in the algorithm. If you do all three of those things... It helps me a lot with the algorithm, makes the video more visible to more people and stuff like that. And if you really want to go above and beyond, you can actually go to the description of this video and find another video that you want to watch. I have tons of other awesome videos like this. If you go and you watch one from the description right after this, that also does a lot for boosting me in the algorithm, and it could help you too. And just the more people that see this, the more I can justify making videos like this. Because this took an unbelievable amount of time. So I appreciate all the support you guys give getting me views on these videos and stuff. It's been really nice. So again, one more time. If you want to help, just like, subscribe, leave a comment, and go to the description and watch another awesome video like this. But now you know how to make a legendary pirate tavern in Sons of the Forest.